I'm Richard Cartwright, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the five best tips I can give you while out on the golf course to help you lower your scores. Tip number one, focus on your club face alignment. So when you look down on that club face, I want you to line up to what we call an intermediate target. In other words, a target that goes between the ball and the flag stick itself or wherever you're aiming. So when you've got that intermediate target just to line up in front, line up your club face to that and then take your stance from there. Okay, so we're lining up the club face. We're not lining up the feet to that intermediate target. We're lining up the club face. The golf ball doesn't care or have a clue about where our toes are pointing. It only cares where our club face is pointing. And it's a lot easier to aim for a target that's a foot or two foot in front of you compared to a target that's up to 200, 250, 300 odd yards away. So look for that intermediate target. Might be a divot, might be a different color piece of grass, whatever. Just line your club face up to that and then go for it. Tip number two, make sure you're taking the least riskiest shot. For example, we've got a bunker to go over here and down slope. And if our pin was on that right hand side there, the, the thin part of the green, it's really, really risky. So always go for the fatter part, always go for the least riskiest part. On this example here, we're on a downslope. So what's it gonna happen when we're on the downslope? The ball's naturally gonna come out a little bit lower anyway. So it's gonna run a bit. We've got water, we've got a pond over the other side. So we've gotta make sure that that ball, we're heading for the fat of the green. The worst case scenario here is dungeon it into the bunker or thinning it into the, that area. We've got to really take our punishment and make sure we go for the fatter part of the green. Really take the risk out of the shot. Tip number three, green reading is the best guess. There's no real science behind it. We don't want to think about the science behind green reading. We want to make sure it's just the best guess. And then when we get up to the golf ball, we just accept and trust that best guess. So we look behind the golf ball, see where the slope is, see where the slope is, where the ball is, see where the slope is, where the hole is, and take a best guess. But really importantly, trust that first guess. Because if you second guess yourself over the golf ball, you're going to really, really struggle to hold pats. Okay, and it's just purely the best guess. Yes, there's a little bit of science to it. Yes, do that in your spare time. Have a look at the sort of greens and the slopes and see what you need to try and do and trying to achieve scientifically off the golf course. But on the golf course, it is just the best guess because every green, every putt is going to be variable. It's going to be different. So take your best guess and trust that best guess. Sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't, but at least you're giving it your best shot and trust it. Tip number four, if you're really struggling to get under a hundred, one of the main important, most important things is to try and make sure you're keeping that ball in play. You've got to keep it on that fairway. The most important thing there is focusing on where the club face is at impact. So if you're hitting the ball right and left, it's more than likely more of a club face issue rather than anything. So have a think about it. If you're missing the ball constantly to the right, it's more than likely you've got the club face open at impact. If you're missing the ball constantly to the left, it's more than likely at impact your club face is pointing to the left. So feel when you go on the practice area in particular, focus on where that club face is because that golf ball unfortunately doesn't lie. It tells us the truth. It tells us where that club face is pointing at impact. So if you're struggling with your score, struggling to break 90, struggling to break 100, even 110, make sure you're keeping that ball in play. And that means focusing on where that club face is. Adjust it to suit. Don't necessarily need lessons for that. All you need to do is figure out where that club face is because that golf ball will tell us exactly where that club face is. Tip number five, take your medicine. If you find yourself in a bit of a sticky situation, the hole is that way. Not much gap there, but the fairway's out there. Don't make things worse for yourself. 
don't turn a potential bogey into a triple or a quadruple. Make sure you're taking your medicine. That's a hugely high risk shot with not much reward. Whereas here we've got a little bit of a gap to the side of the fairway. It's a lot easier and we're more likely to make to not rack up a cricket score if we go for the safe option. Yeah, it might not be the nicest, might not be a, the sexiest as it were, but as long as we don't rack up those eights or nines, again, we'll get that score down. Take your medicine.